Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're interested in seeing my full coverage face routine, stay tuned. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to be using pretty much all of my top favorite products and I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. So here I'm just going in with my Murad Oil Control Lotion and applying that to the T-zone. Next I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter. I mix one pump of each, shade 3.25 and 4.0 on the back of my hand. I'm then just going to apply that with my Beauty Blender all over my face. I got a little bit too much. You definitely don't need this much, but I'm not going to waste it because this is expensive. I know it looks really light here, but this foundation actually darkens up a lot. It oxidizes to one to two shades darker, so as you'll see throughout the video, you'll notice that it is definitely not as light as it looks here. And we're blending, and we're blending. Darn breakouts. So here I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Custard. And this isn't bright enough for my liking, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the same concealer, but in shade Vanilla. Brighten up the eye a little bit. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of this particular brush, but it is a Real Techniques brush. And I love using this under the eyes just to lightly tap out that concealer. Next I'm just going to be setting that with my NARS translucent setting powder. It is their crystal powder and this is in loose. And I like applying that with a damp beauty blender just underneath the eyes to help set that. And a little bit of concealer to the forehead and just tap that out again with a damp beauty blender. I'm also going to be setting that with a little bit of the NARS loose crystal powder. Going in with my NYX Stay Matte Not Flat powder and I'm just very lightly tapping that in the areas that I get the oiliest and I like bringing it up onto my cheek area so that it helps blend my bronzer out a little bit better. I'm bringing that just lightly down the neck with whatever's left on my brush, maybe a little bit more just to help cover some of the hyper hyperpigmentation areas that I have around my jawline. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go off camera and use my Anastasia Brow Wiz to do my brows. Now I'm going in with my Tartlet in Bloom palette. I absolutely love, love, love this palette. If you guys are debating getting it, get it. First I'm going in with my MAC 224 brush and I am using shade Charmer just along the brow bone. I'm going to go in with my MAC Duo Fiber brush in number 226 with shade Flower Child. And we want to apply that just to the outer V area and lightly blend that down into the crease. I'm not really too concerned about the lid area at this point because we are going to go in with lighter shades and touch that up. Using my MAC 217 brush, I am going to be going in with Smarty Pants and darkening up that crease. Do excuse the red tipped brush, it is actually clean but I used a red eyeshadow that stained it pretty good. It has faded a lot, but I can't get it all the way out. I don't know why, but I completely forgot to put on a base. So normally I would be using a shadow primer. My favorite is the Paint Pot by MAC in shade Soft Ochre. And I'm just turning the brush to blend that further into that first shadow that we laid down. 
Using my Sigma E45 brush, I'm going to be grabbing the shade Rebel and darkening up that outer V area even more. I'm first just lightly applying that in that outer corner and blending it into those first two shadows that we used. Again, we are going to clean this up later, so if a little bit of fallout gets on your cheeks, don't worry about it at this point. Now since I have hooded eyes, I like to kind of bring that shadow out a little bit further than my eye to make them appear a little bit larger than they actually are. You just want to continue blending that until you have it right. And here I'm just taking an e.l.f. flat powder brush and wiping away any fallout that I might have. These shadows are very pigmented and they blend so nicely. I love that when you're blending the colors, you don't blend away the color. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but a lot of shadows, they look great if you pack them on, but as soon as you start blending it, they just get kind of muddy or just blend away and you don't see them anymore and you have to redo it. Going in with that original MAC brush, the fluffy one, we're just gonna blend that out even more. Handy little trick here, use whatever loose translucent powder you have. I'm going back in with my NARS Radiant. And if you just take your damp beauty blender and kind of draw a line on the corner of your eyes, let it sit for a little bit and it'll clean up any extra shadow that might have blended a little bit further down than you want and give you a nice crisp line. I'm now getting some of Funny Girl and packing that all over the lid to the inner corner. This would have been a lot easier had I remembered to put on my eyeshadow primer. Using Firecracker, which is a really pretty neutrally like darker bronze shade. I'm gonna darken up just that outer V area of the lid only. I wanna try to keep the shimmer colors more focused on the lid since I do have hooded eyes. The higher you bring up that shimmer, it tends to make your eyes look even more hooded. Using my Morphe MB27 brush, which is just a, a smaller like smudger brush, and I'm gonna take some of Leader, which is the darkest of the bottom row of shades. It's a really pretty, like plummy burgundy color, and I'm just gonna lightly pack that right along the lower lash line and the upper lash line, and a little bit into the crease just to darken that up a little bit more. And just using that fluffy brush again to smoke that out a little bit more and blend all the colors together. Using my e.l.f. flat top powder brush, I'm just wiping away any extra powder that has been sitting under my eyes. Then that also helps wipe away any fallout that may have fallen on my little cheeks. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in shade Overboard. It is a brown bronzy shade, and I really like to just smudge this right along the lash line to increase that smoky effect. and blending that out even a little bit more with that same Morphe brush I used on the lash line. So I'm not exactly sure where the footage went, but I did bronze up the outer edges of my face and my cheek area, as you may have noticed, with some Benefit Hulu bronzer. I have no idea why I didn't record that, but it's missing, so that's what I did. 
so pretty I love this kit it can be a really soft highlight if you just lightly go in with a brush like I'm doing here or you can definitely intensify it if you spray your brush with a little bit of uh, well I like to use the fix plus setting spray but you could use any setting spray that you have and dampen your brush holy crap that will be an intense highlight and I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the forehead right above my eyebrows help lift those bad boys up a little bit and of course the cupid's bow and a little bit along the nose a little bit on the cheeks basically everywhere I should probably just take a bath in it <laughs> this is a blush by Benefit. It is in shade Dandelion. It has a little bit of a glow to it, but it's a very soft pastel-y pink color. It's really pretty for spring summertime. And just blend that together with the highlight so you don't have a harsh line. Don't mind all my hair that always gets in the way. I've got all these little baby hairs growing back in and they always get in my makeup. I would say this is probably my go-to liner. This is BFF2 by ColourPop. It's a very neutral color and I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm not really too concerned at this point of getting it perfect because as you'll see next, I'm gonna go in with some ColourPop primer and blend that out a little bit to soften and help further blend out that liner. Then I'm taking Skimpy by ColourPop. It is a glossy lippy stick and I'm putting that over the top and I like to pat it out to just soften the look. Using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, I'm just gonna, of course, put on mascara. What else would you do with it? <laughs> And here's the finished look. This is my full face. I kind of never wear a natural makeup, so this is kind of my go-to look. And if you feel like you're a little bit too powdery, you can use some Fix Plus like I'm doing here. Fanning, and we're fanning. <laughs> and there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.